What are your thoughts on the future of automotive modifications as we move into electric vehicles or mostly just suspension aesthetics can be changed? No intakes, potentially no tunes, etc. Okay, well, a lot of what you said is just not correct. Uh, now, yes, electric cars don't have intakes. <laughs> that, but that part's true. Electric cars do have ECUs have that tunes. control you know, how the, the electric motor functions. And so tuning is absolutely possible and, and will be a huge thing. Yep. Um, it's not with Tesla because the way Tesla uh, went to market is the cars are completely locked down and they have complete control over the cars. I'd say, yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's true as far as I know currently. Um, not to say someone can't get around that at some point in time, but no, no one has yet. What, what? Yeah, that that'd be. But like, I think that's what that's what's created this perception. Yeah. Until now, yeah. is that Tesla's not alone in that that world either. There are other <laughs> manufacturers that are doing you know over the air updates now. Uh, but that's not the issue. Uh, in, in Europe, you can turn off over there. And that's what I was just going to say. Yeah, you, you, that's something that's, you know. You cannot sound, do that with a test. It sounds big and scary, but uh, usually there's, so far at least, like in <clears throat> Europe where privacy is like a thing. With Tesla, it's big and scary and then nobody's doing it. And that's, that doesn't mean that Volkswagen, Audi, or Porsche, or BMW will be the same. Yeah. And then it doesn't, you know, once, once the engineering gets more mainstream, uh, there will be, there will be... Uh, workarounds and vulnerabilities and hacks for, for a lot of these protections. So I think what your point was, Nate, is that at some point, someone will unlock a Tesla yeah. and Tesla won't be able to do anything about it. And then you can, it's kind of like, you know, jailbreaking your iPhone. Uh, so it's, it's going to happen, but um, yeah, certainly all the, the handling, braking, suspension modifications will be there. Uh, electric cars have big issues with cooling. Um, I was looking at uh, something over the weekend where Ford has taken one of their e, e mock Mustangs and turned it into a race car. And the radiators in the front of that thing would make uh, any internal combustion engine jealous. There was a substantial, uh, big, thick, you know, full like Chevy 350 radiators in, in the front of that thing. And that's just to cool, you know, the. The voltage controllers and inverters and the battery, the battery pack packs, yep. and the motor itself. So there's a ton of cooling required. And the amount of uh, power that the battery packs can generate is directly related to heat. Uh, the amount of power they create is related to heat. So there's there's a, a, lo a lot about electric cars that you don't know yet, that we don't know yet, that... Um, will be coming, but those cars will present plenty of opportunity for modification. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're 100% prepared for that. Uh, the reality is internal combustion is going to dominate vehicles and performance for, for, for certain for at least another five or 10 years. Um, and you'll start to see manufacturers adding more models, but the volume of cars they sell internal combustion will still be huge. Not to mention all the cars on the road, um, we just, we just bought a brand new Audi internal combustion <laughs> vehicle yeah. and those will be selling for at least three or four more years. And then those cars will be on the road and being modified for the next five to 15 years at least. Right. So zero three, four motorsport and, and the companies that compete with us, we will be heavily focused on internal combustion engines for at least another 10, 15 years. Yeah. Um, but we will start adding you'll, you'll see more and more products yeah, as well you'll see more and more electrified products coming so we, we, we have a, a little project in-house to gti -ify an e-golf and that that's going to be a really fun project we're basically going to make an e-golf you know handle and and have the performance of a gti but with the electric powertrain um so there's there's some fun stuff coming it, I, I don't buy into that it's the death of performance it's the death of automotive Electric cars will be and can be exciting. They, they already are. Uh, it's just unfortunately it's just dominated by Tesla and for the exciting uh, part, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that that's coming from all the all the manufacturers. Yeah, but I mean, there's more. You know, there's a Taycan out now. There's the Tron GT. There's, oh, there's yeah, a lot yeah. more fun stuff coming it's, for. It's for here the and, and there's a lot more coming. So it'll it'll be cool once you know once you know Audi, Volkswagen, BMW, whatever, um, start releasing you know, really fun, quick, 
sport sporty you know thirty five forty thousand dollars electric yeah, cars. You like ES threes out there where it's you know a, a performance oriented yeah you know, smaller sedan. That will be really fun, and you know we'll we'll be able to we we can modify the battery pack. We can modify yeah, various it'll, electrical components. Right. It'll be I, I foresee a you know future where you know you take the the S3 or the, S3, the the S3 version of the controllers or batteries or motors, and you're doing you know component upgrades. You higher horsepower, just like motors. you do like an IS38 into a yeah. you know a, one turbo, an S3 turbo into a like a GTI or something. You do a motor swap. You know all that's going to be a thing. So don't discount all that stuff. The biggest issue is you know you might electrocute yourself. So that's a challenge. Yep. Be careful with that. Yep. There's there's some other some new working measures that are going to be uh, become normal. Mm-hmm. Tons of questions.